Hello. Today's subject is not the Alpha 6000 as a camera, but how this camera can be provided with battery power for a longer time. It is a well-known issue that the mirrorless cameras are remarkably smaller than the greater SLRs or SLTs, and therefore do have smaller batteries which last for a maximum of two hours in optimal conditions. This is a battery for the mirrorless Alpha 6000, and this is a SLR battery with a difference in size and power. Unfortunately, there is no vertical grip with a battery compartment for the Alpha 6000 yet, like there is one for the Alpha 7, which is currently recording this video. With these two batteries in the vertical grip, the runtime of the camera could easily be, easily be doubled. But what is the use of a battery runtime of more than two hours? Lately, I began to work myself into time-lapse and motion time-lapse, and the time-lapse of the sky full of stars is something I'm planning on. Such kind of time-lapse definitely lasts longer than two hours, and I don't want to interrupt the time-lapse to change the battery. There is an easy solution if you have a power outlet nearby, because there are these AC adapters which provide permanent power to the camera. But you have to be really lucky to find a power outlet in the middle of nowhere and a substitute based on batteries is the only solution here. These AC adapters have what I call a battery dummy at one end, which is connected to the power supply that delivers 7.6 volt, which is the same voltage that is delivered by these bigger batteries I use for the LED lamps that are currently providing light for this video set especially if there is no power socket available. Doing some research in the internet and getting some expertise results in this assembly, which allows me to connect the camera to one of these bigger batteries. When everything is connected and the polarity is correct, this battery lasts for about four hours constant usage, which might not be enough for a whole night of stars, but is sufficient for longer time lapse. Now, as you can see, the camera is starting and taking images. Well, and how to support a whole night of time lapse then? Again, I got some help from a couple of experts, and this is the solution. I used two battery adapters from which I removed the connector plate and created a parallel connection. Attaching the batteries and connecting the camera with the AC dummy the camera can be switched on and again it takes images I will now start the time-lapse app installed in the camera which takes a short moment and as soon as it is started let me close the battery compartment here the camera starts taking images controlled by the time-lapse app Two of these batteries now should provide enough power for at least five to six hours. And if not, there is one additional feature of this construction. The, the, the batteries um, can be changed during operation of the camera. And changing the batteries one after the other can extend the runtime every three to four hours until all batteries are exhausted. Now I switch off the, the app here. So I think 
the only limit to this setup is now the capacity of the SD card, but maybe there will be other solutions to this shortly. So thank you for watching, stay tuned and bye bye.